Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya. <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two. Yeah. <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. Get us to the heliport near Fish Market South. Calculating route. In 400 yards. Turn. So, I got a proposition for you, Louie. It's Luis, bro. It'll be little Louise if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you owe me, bro. Making me hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no monster measuring contest, bro. I keep telling you I ain't into that creepy shit. No! My jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch! No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line, then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about everything Tony owes me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. Mwah. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly peace or a lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp. Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay, so what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city, only for serious high roller cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and, and everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that, and you out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost a nothing in my whole life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as Little B. Or maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing. And then all your contractual obligations are released. Okay, here's to that. Get off the road, you fox! You have all been provided! Parachutes, boats, and cars! You will be airlifted to the start where you will race from one vehicle to the next. The first person to make it to the finish in Middle Park is the winner. Are you ready? Fuck yeah! Hey, I'm racing an orange midget. Why wouldn't I be ready? Three, two, one, go!
Ouch, man. That's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think Tony's cash means shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. Where to? Yeah, man. Going to Boabo. Cool. I'll take the long way. Here we go. Tip, please. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty. Oh, come on! Come on! One more! Come on! Ah! Screw you, Morty! Why do you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, Maury. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing. Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. I have better cars. I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Ah. Hey, Maury. I got to side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs. I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you, you take the cake, man. Oh, jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? You know, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. OK! I love you. <laughs> I love you. I do. I love you. It's just the truth is I'm, I'm jealous. I am. I'm jealous. Jealous that, that you are dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever. I'm only kidding. Come on. J Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent-up queens, I swear. Come on. Let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on. Stop sulking. Jesus, you're pathetic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on. Yeah, we got some cars waiting at the top of Middle Park, bro. 
Here, take these headsets. Excuse me if I don't trust the Perrius to think for yourselves. Hey, Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Mori, bro, are you a fucking with me? Come on, little B. And what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs> Yo, two men and a little cunt. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Brucey? He called you a little cunt. Yeah, I wasn't talking about him, bro. Don't bring down a positive energy, Lopez. Me and my brother are having fun today. Yeah, man, we are. We should do this more often, bro. Oh, B, shit. Before I forget, there's this email that I got that I thought you'd be interested in. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, you see? It's this doctor. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, he says he's made this pill that is gonna sort out that penis problem you got. Yeah. Fuck off, boy. I thought you were being cool, bro. No, no, I am, bro. I swear it. No, this guy can extend your hose by at least two to three inches. Hey, call me an asshole, but I'd be really psyched if my bro was back in a four-inch bunch. How's that for cool? Shut up, Maury. The one thing you do got going for you is those roid ravaged beans in your sack. Yeah, anything would look big hanging next to those peanuts, right? Huh? Am I right? Shut the fuck up, Maury! <laughs> ah, pathetic! You see this guy, Lopez? What did I tell you? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I tend to stop listening when you open your mouth. Remind me again what you paid for that place in Broker, Brucey. Huh? Oh, and a garage, too. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about it. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What are those properties worth now? <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Shit. You see? What did I tell you, Lopez? Overexposed like a stripper in Fleet Week. Only thing more useless than that little pecker of his is his portfolio. Ain't that right, Brucey? Hey, leave him alone, Maury. You're even more annoying than usual. He's a bit like you and Big Tone, actually. Hey, you guys should start a debtors anonymous circle jerk together. <laughs> yeah, you can sit around crying and hugging and talking about how you lost it all, huh? <laughs> yeah, at least we don't owe you shit anymore, Maury. Remember, that dead guy erased in that bed. Fucking genius. Ooh, little Lopez got his panties in a twist. She's string on too tight, is it? You guys should lighten the fuck up. Come on. Ah, here's our guy with the cars. Now you chumps could learn a thing or two here. It's your friendly neighborhood superstar. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip off. Here you go. Huh? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks and idiots walk. Up with a ride, Luis. Push that thing. Have fun.
position, Morgan. I can stop for a break and still crush you bitches, yeah! Go straight on this first ramp, okay? It's your car, bro. If you want to try it, Did you see little Lou here, though? He started shitting his panties when the cop showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared? You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou, sure, 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 you could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me, look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. <laughs> Come on! Think apprentice. Think uh, intern. Minion, yeah. Think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs. No more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free! <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey? Me? Yeah, you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. Oh, the man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, 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 God, oh, yeah. what the fuck, man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, you know the rules. Oh, I'm sorry, Maury, uh, I forgot, man. Never, never in the face. Oh, come on, this is, this is top work up here. You know that I got a week and stuff, though. Okay, oh, just, just, just don't tell Mom, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, 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 just, you gotta take me home. Yeah, shit, okay, yeah, shit, come on, let's go, okay, okay, come on, yeah, 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 okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh, uh I'll see you at the club or something, okay? I heard something. Okay, where to? North Holland, yo. Hey! Okie dokie, friend. Here we are. Hey, Louise, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? 
No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to pick a fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know? And look at me. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello. Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, thanks. I, 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 I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus! When even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right, Luis! Get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Let's go. Can you take us out to Gracie's house? Some Babbage Drive. Louise. Hey, babe. How are you? Hey, yo, Gracie. What's up? Tone, what the fuck is it with Louise? I mean, he'll try to bang anything with a pussy, but it's Mr. Lipstick when I'm around. I don't know. Maybe it's your charming turn of phrase, or your demure, almost nun-like manner. What is up with that, Louise? Sorry, Gracie. You ain't my type. So can you let me be a limp dick in peace? Having a pussy is your type, Lou. Tell me what's wrong with you. There ain't nothing wrong with you. If you like really loud weed heads. Please, fuck you. Hey, look. I stopped dealing with monster brats after Danny Lupicella tried to get her daddy to cut my balls off. Call me an asshole. But that was it for me. I know where you're coming from. The shit I got into after my night of indiscretion with Roy Zito. Oh, trying to claim I spiked his drink. Roy Zito, a homo? He ain't a very good one. I never would have guessed it. Yeah, well, they don't wear a label on their head. Oh, look at this bitch behind the wheel. Tony, your extreme queeniness is starting to rub off on the employees. Look, Gordon, oh, what are we doing out of Grace's house? We're paying a visit. Shit, don't we got other problems right now? Come on. Now that you mention it, there is another issue. That fucking nevish, the celebinator. Oh my god, I just love that guy's blog. Well, that guy's blog don't love us. What happened? He's talking shit like it's going out of fashion. So what? He thinks he's the only guy with a mouth on the fucking internet? This is something we don't I need mean, right hello. now. Oh, no one comes to our summer party in the caraways. Chill out, bro. First of all, the summer's a long way off. And second, we shouldn't be having a party in the caraways with our financial situation. This guy could sink us. Listen to him, Lou. The Celebinator is real influential. Relax, bro. Send them a basket. It'll be cool. It's fucking blackmail with these guys. He got left off a list somewhere, so it's our livelihoods at stake. Yo, all right. I'll check him out. What's his site? I'll send you a link. Will you drop us off and go through it now? But that means Louise won't be able to see the inside of my place. Oh, well, in that case, I'll definitely do it now. Shit, Lou. Another time. Oh, yeah, sure, babe. Some other time. Thanks, Louise. Call me when you've emailed that dreadful blogger.
Hope the internet is worth it. In. But you smoothed him, didn't you? I was my most charming digital self. Like one of them internet vigilantes pretending to be 12. Thanks, Al. Let's see where it goes. Desi, what's up, man? Hey, boss. I'm just wondering when you think you're gonna do a shift at the club. This place could do with that Luis Lopez magic. I'll try to put some time in soon, man. It's just been kind of crazy. Trust me. Look after things. Thank you. 